Hi guys and welcome to my channel. In this video I'm going to show you how I upcycle this beautiful heavy duty coffee table. This table is as solid as it gets. It is super heavy and the best part about it is I got it for free from a neighbor. So um, the way I uh, the products that I use is I use mineral spirits and a stripper, a wood stripper as well as sand as, uh, a sander. So first I uh, cleaned the table with mineral spirits, then I uh, um, added the wood stripper, I left it on for a bit, and then I send, uh, tried to take as much as possible with the scraper, and then the rest I sanded it down several times. So, um, yeah, so here is the process and I will take you along. I also use any Sloan to paint the table, any Sloan chalk paint.
it is all sanded down. I just started uh, some of our soil, the mineral spirits to clean it up. And then um, I'm still gonna go over it with a 180, very fine, to get rid of some of these sanding marks that were left behind. So I've started applying um, very watered down Paris Gray chalk paint uh, to use it as almost as a stain. So as you can see, I kind of started with the first layer. Um, I have never done this before, so it's I'm really curious to see how it's going to turn out. The guy at the store said uh, he showed me how he did it. He showed me what it looked like, and I really like the end result. So I'm trying to achieve that look, but uh, we'll see if it works out or not. So I'm gonna put the camera on and keep working. the wood grain is showing through which is what I want it and then while this is drying I'm going to do the edging with the solid paint I'm not gonna water it down I'm gonna have that solid because it's not really it doesn't really show any wood grains or anything like that so here it is all dry I just wanted to should give you a closer look so you can see the wood grain is showing through i'm just going to give it a quick sand with a, a sanding block uh, it's a high grit sanding block and um so i can get the surface as smooth as possible this increased the show of the wood grain and I'm gonna apply black wax on it so I started applying the black wax and I decided to go straight on to the color without applying a coat of clear wax first so and I love the way it looks turned out absolutely beautiful it is exactly the way I wanted it to turn out so now the next step is let this um, cure for a little bit I'm gonna paint the body old white and distress it a little bit and then I'm gonna wax the whole piece 
with clear wax. So here is the table. Let me just stand a little further so you can see. I'm gonna probably add another coat to the bottom for sure, just because um, I don't like how many brush strokes are showing. And then I'm gonna um, probably give it a, a light sanding just to get rid of the roughness. But I absolutely love the way this turned out. Okay, so once I'm done the second coat, I'll show you how I wax it. So I am at a waxing point, so I will be using these reusable rags. They are the reusable wipes for heavy duty for hard to clean jobs from Dollar Tree and they work really well. And I just cut them in half. So, and all I do to remove the wax is buff it up. You don't have to go too hard, but uh, you want to give it a good wipe so when you touch it, it's not sticky. So here is what the table looks like and I couldn't be more pleased with the way it turned out. So thank you so much for watching and if you like this video give me a thumbs up and until next time have a wonderful day.